Our goal is to select from a drop-down list a condition for sum ifs to add. So if I change it to Aspen, I see conditional formatting highlighting the two records over here, and that's the total. But if I add new records to the Excel table, I want my drop-down list to update and incorporate the new product names. And I want the conditional formatting to update. Now we're going to be using Microsoft 365 Excel. And if you don't have Microsoft 365, here's a video about how to extract a unique list. And here's one about conditional formatting. Our first task is to create a drop-down list that we can choose from that will always show us a sorted unique list from the product column. So off to the side, we're going to use an amazing Microsoft 365 dynamic spilled array function called sort. And then inside of it, we'll use a second dynamic spilled array function, not unique character, but unique. And in array, we select the product column. And then when we close parentheses, close parentheses, when I hit Enter, it spills the results into the cells. Now, if you look up to the formula bar, all the cells below the top cell are grayed out. And the formula only lives in that top cell. Now, that's important because when we come over and add data validation, select the cell, data, data tools, data validation. In the Settings tab, we want to allow, not the default any value, but from the dropdown, I want a list. And in the source, you select only the top cell. And then you use the pound or hashtag symbol, which Microsoft calls the spilled range operator. And it refers to everything spilling from I2. Click OK. And now when I click the dropdown, that is beautiful. If I was to change this to D, the spilled array updates, and so does the drop-down list. Now let's Control Z, Z to undo both of those actions. Now we come over, equals sum ifs. The sum range, that's all the numbers we potentially want to add, comma, criteria range. We look through the product column, comma, and then criteria 1. That's the condition in F3. Close parentheses and Enter. Now if I change this to Aspen, Instantly, it updates. Now, the next goal is to add conditional formatting to each row based on the product here. But the problem is, if we go to conditional formatting home, conditional formatting dropdown, there's no built-in feature to conditionally format a row. So no problem. We'll build our own logical formula. Now, we have to highlight the entire table. And I'm very carefully going to select the upper left corner and highlight leaving the active cell in the upper left corner, then conditional formatting drop down, new rule. We want to use a formula to determine which cells to format. Then we want to format values where this formula is true. Now, that active cell in the upper left corner, whatever formula I put here, the conditional formatting dialog box behind the scenes will put the formula in that cell and copy it over and down as if the formula was in each cell. So very carefully, I'm going to highlight the product for that row. And I do not want it to remain locked on both the column and row. I only want the column locked. So I hit the F4 key one and two times. That means the C is locked. So when the formula in B3 moves from B to C to D, it's locked on C. But when it moves from row 3 to row 4, the row reference will change. That's how you get each record in the data set to see the product for each row. Then I say equals and whatever's in F3. And that we want locked in all directions. Let's click Format. You can add whatever formatting you want from any of the four tabs. I'll add Yellow Fill. Click OK. Click OK. And so now we can test it. Carlota. Bam, everything's working. Conditional formatting, the drop down, and our sum formula. Now here's the moment of truth. We're going to highlight these new records. I'm going to copy them. And then in the first row below the table, 
I'm going to use Control V to paste. And just like that, the table has expanded. The conditional formatting was copied down. The total is updated. And our dynamic dropdown data validation list has updated to include the new product, Bellin. I can select Sunset or Back to Carlota. All right, that was a little fun with dynamic spilled array formulas. Data validation with that spilled range operator. Conditional formatting with a mixed cell reference, only the column locked. And bam, everything's working. All right, if you like that video, be sure to click that thumbs up. Leave a comment and subscribe, because there's always lots more videos to come from Excel is Fun. All right, we'll see you next video. Bye.